Okay guys, so what I want to do now, I want to discuss some concepts that Igor discussed in his uh, talk. So the first concept that we are going to discuss is roll down. And we will also discuss the concept of the break even. Okay. So uh, the roll down, as Igor explained to you, okay, so let's say that you have a bond, okay. And it's a five year bond. And usually, as Igor explains, the curve is actually upward sloping. So as time maturity extends, your curve is going to increase until it will stabilize somewhere between the 15 to 30 year range. Okay, and if you have a bond here and the curve doesn't change, so the bond, let's say this is a five year bond, and in one year, it will be a four-year bond. And because the curve doesn't change, you will actually make money because the yield of the bond will drop, okay? So if let's say the yield was 5% for five year, okay? And now it goes down to 4.5% for a four-year, okay? You are going to make actually uh, 50 basis points, minus, right? And uh, if you multiply by the duration of the bond, let's say five year or four and a half, you're going to get 2.5%. Okay, so if the curve doesn't change, and this is a big if, okay, you can actually make money by holding uh, the investment passively. Okay? Now, how you can actually utilize it to make money, and this is an example that Igor gave you in class. So let's say that you have $100 million dollars of your, uh, you know, of your capital. And you can leverage it, right? So you can borrow $100 million more. Now, when you borrow $100 million more, so now you have $200 million. Let's say that you have a five, this is a, you invest in a five-year bond. Okay, and let's say, instead of this example, let's take that the, in your investment is 2%. Okay, so the yield of the bond is 2%, while the yield of the four-year bond will be 1.5%. Okay. So now, with this $200 million, that you borrowed, what will be your expense? So your expense will be, and now let's say that your one year, one year bond your one year bond is a rate of 50 basis points. Okay. So now on this 200 million, you are going, uh, you borrowed 100 million and let's say with the rate of 50 basis points, okay, because you borrowed for one year, you're going to make, uh, you're going to pay out $500,000. Okay, this is what is you're going to pay. Now, what is going to be your income? First of all, you are going to have 2% here of this five-year bond, and you have $200 million. So you have $4 million here of income. But also, and this is very important, you have the roll down benefit. So you go from 2% to 1.5%. Okay, if the curve doesn't change, and that's a big leap, but let's assume that the curve doesn't change. Okay, you have 4 million, and here you also can take the effect of the roll down, right? which is going to be, uh, which will affect your price. Okay, when you're going to do this effect of the roll down, how do you how do you calculate it? Let's say that you have basically a five year bond. Duration of five year bonds are usually around four and a half. Okay. So you have basically here four and a half times minus zero point five percent. And where is this zero point five percent coming from? 
is because when you go from 2% to 1.5%, the yield drops by 50 basis points, okay? So this is going to be plus 225%, okay? So on a $200 million, you multiply by 2.25%, okay? How much money you are going to make? So you're going to make here two, 200 million times four, sorry about that, but it's going to be $4 million. And then you have another, uh, another 25 basis points, which is another $500,000. So overall, you're going to have here four point four and a half thousand dollars right? So, okay, so here you have two effects. One effect is your income. Another effect is the, is the income which is coming from the roll down. This is going to be the price section. This is going to be the income action, right? So overall, you're making $8.5 million. And you're going to pay out $0.5 million. Okay, so overall, you're going to make $8 million, give or take, in one year. Now, if you would take $100 million or $200 million and invest in 50 basis points, which is basically your one year zero coupon bond, you're going to make only $500,000. So you actually outperform your investment in a one year bond by 16 times. And for managers, it's actually very, very good return. So when Igor was talking about uh, the roll down and when he was talking about the income, you see the both effects that you can actually utilize using leverage, okay? So there's a secret behind roll down strategies. Okay. Now, one thing that you want to remember, okay, that uh, this is the, uh, uh, that uh, you also have something which is coming from their break-even concept. Because now what you want to do, you want to say, okay, I have $8 million here, okay, but what should happen so that I'm going to actually lose this income, okay? So this is going to be something like that. And how can you lose your income if instead of uh, going down, the curve is going to go up, okay? So on $200 million, that you have, okay? You lose $8 million, which is 4%. Now, your, uh, your, cur your, uh, your uh, duration is four and a half. So what you have here, that your curve should go up by 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.045. Okay, which is around what? Uh, 40 divided by 45. So this is going to be, uh, you cancel by five, it's gonna be eight over nine. So it's around, you know, 1%. So if your curve is going to go against you as 1%, you are going to be wiped out, okay? Because out of this 200 million, okay, you are, you know, you are going to lose the 8 million because it's 4% and this is exactly your gain. So you are going to actually be wiped out if the curve is going to go up by 1%. So the break even here, okay, is, is going to be this or this, which is, you know, which is kind of the approximate. Okay, so hopefully this uh, kind of uh, explains a little bit what Igor was talking about in his presentation and uh, hopefully that you guys will enjoy it. Thank you and have a great day.